Welcome back everyone to more Game of Thrones. Alright, what's this all about? Breaking into my room or some weird schnozzle. If it's the beggar boy. Kick down the door. Bust it! Beggar boy. Everything's still here. Hmm. Scuff marks. What? How do you... Eh? 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 Ceiling? <laughs> Why would someone do this? Um, don't look at me. I don't know. Look at things. The letters from my family. What would someone want with them? To check correspondence? Was someone going through my books? Someone's uh, seriously stalking it up. Mira. <laughs> the beggar boy can't write, so... I have information that will aid you with the imp. Meet me in the gardens at midnight. It's not the... it's not the beggar boy. I know he's a coal boy. But he's a beggar boy in my eyes. There. <clears throat> that should last through Lady Elena's visit, at least. There's been no news from Mira. She may not have found a way to help with Elena. We'll be fine, Robert. I pray you're right. Lord Glenmore's army could keep us from ruin. But Elena must still agree to the marriage. <clears throat> my lord. You might remind Lady Elena that in terms of lineage you are still very much a man I got a dog what I mean is if the two of you wanted to produce an heir it should not be a concern that was never in question of of course not I just meant enough your dog works <laughs> when last we spoke of Elena you seemed unsure how she might feel about you you just have to show her that you're still the man she knew Everyone's I concerned about my man, man. With unwanted advice. But this is an important day for all of us. Thank you, Mother. This advice well taken. I'm just so glad to see you home. My lord, she's here. I wonder if Marjorie helped. Or her grandmother. Her grandmother is super, super fucking cool. Roderick? Don't look at me. Jekyll and Hyde. That two face. You look. You're really. I know, I'm unspeakably handsome. I see you haven't lost your sense of humor. <laughs> no. Just two limbs and half a face. <laughs> Please. So, here we are. I'm glad to see you up and about. You look as beautiful as ever, Elena. Oh, thank you. They're supposed to be Ryan come of a little prompt. She alive. appreciated that. My father suggested I wait, but I can't believe it's been two years. Your brother's name day feast. We danced until the sun came out. But now your house prepares for a funeral. And you... 
tell me the truth, Roderick. How are you, really? And please, be honest with me. I don't mean to pry, but... I want to know what you're going through. I won't lie. Every day is a battle. I can only imagine. But I'm getting better. So much has changed since we were children. Playing hide-and-seek in the grove and... You're so easy to find. You always hid behind the same tree. <laughs> Maybe I wanted you to find me. But Roderick... I, um... I need to ask you something. When I arrived at Ironrath today, your courtyard was filled with drunken soldiers. White Hill soldiers. They said... Mm. Some terrible things. The White Hills are your oldest enemies, Roderick. Why are they here? Bruce Bolton. Has something happened? We weren't given a choice. Those soldiers are here at the orders of the Bolton. That's horrible. Bruce Bolton must mean to occupy Iron Man. No, he just wants to show our loyalty. I'm going to be honest with you, Roderick. I have always looked forward to our marriage. But in light of all that's happened to your family... I... My father is questioning the wisdom of our betrothal. He wants me to call it off. But how do you feel? And what do you want? I've been asking myself the same question. And frankly, I'm torn. I don't care about your scars, Roderick. I love the boy you were, and I can love the man you are. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But my family can't get drawn into a war with the Boltons. They're the Wardens of the North. And they flay their enemies. You and I can overcome anything. I once thought so too. <sighs> but I have to be practical. Lena. Ironwood. It doesn't matter how we feel. Give me the choice. How can I ask my father to risk everything? Give me the choice of Ironwood. Even for you. Let's be practical. When we defeat the White Hills, I'll give your father half of our Ironwood farm. Okay, I do. I did not agree to that. That's worth a fortune. I did. Hey, 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 we'll hey, hey. To secure this alliance. I'll need to discuss it with father, but... That you do fucking have? Yes. I think this will convince him. Fucking 10%? Perhaps we'll remain our eyes after all. Deepest apologies, my lord. I tried to stop him, but he... So, the rumors are true. You have no right to just... And if it isn't Elena Glenmore... You're not still marrying into this wretched family. Our houses will be joined, in fact. And we will stand proudly beside them. Can I change your mind? You can do much better than this cripple. And my son Griff needs a bride. What do you want, Whitehill? What do I want? Ask your mother. She invited me here. That's not true. I sent a raven to Lord Whitehill about letting Ryan attend the funeral, but I never expected him to barge in like this. Oh, she practically begged me to come. Of course, I'd want the same in her position. The youngest son hung to mourn his dead father and brother. Ryan belongs at that funeral. With his family. Not until I'm certain that you... Know your place. Oh, fuck off. Lord Ramsay ordered your family to obey my soldiers until my son Griff arrives from Harrenhal. But now I hear you're threatening them and keeping them dull on wine. It makes me start to question your obedience. They're drinking to their heart's content. Lord, enough of this. Fine. Let's talk this through. How about... I talk, and you fucking listen. Sure. Here's the idea. We're gonna make a fresh start, you and I. Your brother Ethan was a dismissive little shit. But you're a different man entirely, aren't you? So, if you want Ryan at that funeral, 
Sure, Lady Elena, you respect your betters. Kneel and kiss my shiny ring. No. Just do it, Roderick. No! You don't want to end up like your brother, do you? Please. It means nothing. It does! See Ryan again. What the... Go on. The worst Get advice. Get on your knees. Kiss it. Roderick, please. I'm not kissing your ring. Do what you must. Fine. I'll just tell Ryan you didn't want to see him. No, please. And because of your defiance... I'm taking what should have been mine in the first place. The other half of the Ironwood Forest. You can't Ramsay do that. Snow said... I know what Ramsay said. I'm saying something else. As of today, I harvest Ironwood from wherever the fuck I please. He would do it anyway. And you can't do a bloody thing to stop me. Would you defy an express order from House Bolton? I've known Roose Bolton my whole life. As long as he gets his ironwood, he Our won't craftsman, craftsman won't work on it. Well, I have what it came for. I'll leave you to your business. It's so lose-lose, it doesn't even make sense. You guys are, oh, we will force your craftsman to work. Ooh, no, you by won't. The way, my men have a name for you. Roderick... The Ruined. Isn't that clever? See, it makes... Oh my god, it just makes no sense. Oh, it's so dumb. He's gonna make things difficult for both of us, isn't he? I'm glad you didn't let him humiliate you. You'd put your pride ahead of your family? Pride? What's poor Ryan going to think? That we've abandoned him? We can't afford to show weakness, Mother. It would have been a minor sacrifice. No. It wouldn't have. Give an inch, give a mile, give your whole fucking house. My lord, are you well? I'm angry. This fight isn't over. Not even close. Oh, John Snow, yes. You can't be fighting with the other recruits. You <laughs> need those men. Oh, my battle. God. There's Are enough you... out here trying to kill us without trouble amongst our own. I didn't fight back. You're right. I'm sorry. Oh my god. This fucking game, I swear to god, Telltale, you give me the worst of migraines. I'm Garrett. Crossfinger told me about you. Seems to think you might be trouble. You might be right. He said worse about me. said you fought for the north with the foresters you were there at the twins yes I still don't understand 3,000 men and not one could save my brother I was in the camp why didn't anyone fight back why didn't they rally to their king nobody was expecting it one minute we were drinking and telling jokes and the next Phrase cut us open. Those cowards couldn't face Rob like men, so they stabbed him in the back. They couldn't even give him an honorable death. Let him die fighting. Your brother would have won the North's freedom. He deserved to be king. He was good at it. He was good at everything. Now the phrase command river run except Bolton's holding his dick the in North. his pants after what they did. It's not right. They murdered my family. I should have been there. I keep thinking if I'd been there, I could have done something. 
But chances are, I'd be dead too. Whatever I once thought, my place is here. With the nice watch. Hue, 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 hue. There are those here who will hate you for who you are. Southerners who will call you traitor. Northerners who will call you craven. Some won't even have a reason. They'll hate you anyway. You can't do anything about it. It's just Trust the way me, it is. I know. Why would they hate me? You're different than them. Most of the men are criminals forced to take the black. You were a squire for a noble house. You what happened to you today happened to me more times than I can count. I learned there's nothing more important than having brothers you trust. I got oh. Cotter and I got you, Jon Snow. Be my brother until season five or six. Oh, with your fucking eyes. I felt the same first time I saw it. I heard you want to be a ranger. Why? Why risk your life out there? I want to protect House Forrester. You'll protect them by doing your duty here. That's what I said. Not many recruits want to be rangers. They'd rather stay here where they think they'll be warm and safe. But Mance Raider marches on the wall with a hundred thousand wildlings. I've seen them for myself. The men here are murderers. Thieves, rapers. You won't like most of them, and they won't like you. But they're your brothers now. Can you stand with them? Can you see past your differences? I'll stand with them. Glad to hear it. It's fucking cold. I'd say you'll get used to the cold, but you won't. Come on. Better get by a fire, or you'll end up like Frostfinger. Why doesn't he have gloves? I mean... I know it only helps a minimal amount, but... Since it's like <laughs> fucking 60 below in Fahrenheit... So Marjorie didn't help me at all. I'm here, but where are you? It's good to know. I'll reward your patience. Right. Okay, thanks. <sighs> Bitch. Shit. It's that one guy. From the gate. Where do you think oh. you're going? At this time of night. I, I was just headed back to my room. It's a little late to be out, isn't it? Do you know what this uniform means? It means you're a guard? It means you serve the Lannisters. So, you best get yourself back to your chambers. And I mean, now. If you don't like it, you can take it up with the commander. Me. Did you not hear me? No. At ease, Lucan. The lady is with me. Yes. So suave. Sir. Enjoy your night. I hope he wasn't bothering you, my lady. I'm Damien. Oh, God. You were in the throne room earlier. Did you leave me this note? I did. Did you toss my room? 
I'm very glad you could make it. I've been wanting to talk to you for quite some time. Did you search my room? What were you looking for? Nothing, Lady Mira. I only wish to leave you a note. So you tossed my entire room. He's I am sorry about this, Mira. Yeah, oh, he's going to kill me. you've made enemies of the wrong people. A handmaiden should know her place. What people? I'll make this quick if that helps. I'd hate to see you suffer. into the face of his neck. You? What? What, what happened? What, what was that? He... He said I'd angered the wrong people. So someone sent him? What are you doing here? No. I heard yelling. You did what you had to do, Lady Mira. Oh, I know I did. You had no choice. I need to get back. Someone might see me. I'll take care of him. I know a few places in Fleetwood. No one will ever find him. We should talk about this. Later. I'll find you. Everything all right, sir? <gasps> Damien, where are you? Don't toss the knife. Don't toss it. Keep knife, keep knife. Flowers. I think this is gonna be short, so I'm gonna keep it rolling. Gwyn White. Uh, yeah, I was thinking Gwyn. No idea. Hello, Roderick. Sir Ryland. It's been a while since we've met. Yes. Last time I saw you, you and my brother had almost started a war. Your father wanted to murder Russia for your little love affair, remember? That was a long time ago. May we speak privately? My lady. Roderick, I came here because I know how hard these past few days must have been for you and your family. Mm -hmm. I know my words probably mean nothing to you, but they're all I have. Thank you, Gwyn. I'm so sorry, Roderick. Your father is fucking your everything didn't up. This. Neither of them did. Listen, I know my father is intent on using Ryan as a hostage. But I think you deserve some news of him. I know it's little consolation. But if I can offer you this... It's something, at least. So you disagree with your father, then? I will admit his methods are often... misguided. But he's not mistreating your brother. I'm looking after him, but... What? The other day he said something that made me worry. He asked me if his father died... because he was a coward. He asked if he was really a thief and a traitor, like my father says. I don't wish to upset you, but... I thought you should know. Please help him, Gwyn. Don't let him believe what your father tells him. I've been doing my best to set him right. 
But he's only a child. He feels forgotten. Alone. He's waiting for his family, but every day my father tells him they will <sighs> never come. That they've chosen their pride over him. And with each passing day, those words start to sound like truth. Tell him to stay strong. Have him repeat our house words every day until I come for it. Of course. But if you truly want to bring Ryan home, this war has to end. You know that. We don't have to be enemies, Roderick. Hello, Gwyn. It's good to see you, Talia. I hope I can count on your discretion. But you know, your father is a fucking prick. Roderick, Roderick. you should speak to Mother. Roderick. Roderick. Mother. Come join the others. He should be here. He should be with his family. But instead they send her. Gwen came here on her own. She wanted us to know Ryan is okay. It's happening all over again. I can see it. My father's house was once mighty like this one. But his loyalty to the Targaryens cost us dearly. Mm -hmm. I watched as countless of our kin fell. Saw our lands destroyed. Everything we clung to was ripped from our hands. I can't watch that same fate before this family. Our house. My children. They will take everything from us. Our family is strong, Mother. We will not fall. Many men are strong, and still the night takes them. That's because you have fucking you must super be ready winters. to defend us, Roderick. <laughs> your body may be damaged, but your spirit must be like iron. iron you let from nothing ice. stand in your way, do you understand? If you have to murder every last White Hill down to the babes in their beds, no matter what, you must do it. Okay. Promise me. You must protect them. I will kill anyone who stands in my way. I will do whatever it takes. Remember that. You must be ready. Promise me. We will be ready, Mother. Catelyn Stark over Asher, here. Even Garrett, they all stand with us. We are strong. Yes. I suppose we have to be. I'm gone a little crazy. A little crazy. Would you say a few words, my lord? I suppose I'll have to. She hasn't left yet? Wow. Walking slower than me. My father. He, he was everything. Everything I ever wanted to be. He showed me what it is to be a lord. Always honorable. I never knew better man. And I am. I am sorry. I love you, Father. Ethan, my little brother. When I left. Just a boy. But when his house needed him, he rose to the task. Like a lord. He would have been proud. We honor Lord Gregor Forrester. My husband. My love. And our Lord Ethan. My sweet little boy. Now is time to say goodbye. But does does Karen need his gold for Father sticks? And return to the earth, to the ice, and from there sacrifice. Or is it like seeds? Life begins. For the ironwood trees. Iron from ice. Iron, iron from ice. ice. I'm gonna guess it's seeds for the ironwood trees.
you can only set one pyro flame. You know what I want to play right now? Mount and Blade 2. When that comes out, oh my god. By life. I'm f I'm, I'm out of here. Fuck it. That game's gonna be fucking great. I just know it. Or I hope it. From eyes, from <sighs> eyes, we forced us born. To eyes, we all return. Father, brother, I've sworn, I've sworn. To guard this rest you've earned I'd bear my neck to win in pain And swim the shivering sea Pain slavers pay in crimson rains To bring Next time on Game of Thrones. That song could have been better, but I mean, what do I expect? What is going on? Roderick, you have to do something. Lord Whitehill's son has arrived. Uh, Griffith! Griff Whitehill needs I need to tell me. on my side. Nothing worse than a fourthborn with something to prove. It was bad enough when it was just the soldiers. We can't live with them under our roof. Form up! Follow my lead. You'll be taking your vows. You too, Tuttle. Time to start proving you're a brother. What have I done? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, the things we do for family. Oh. I wonder sometimes if it's worth it. All the sacrifices. Literally migraine. Enjoy the wedding. How much further to Marine? A few days. If the Lost Legion doesn't catch up to us first. I overheard a couple of men whispering about the Lannister Guard. <gasps> They're no. questioning people. Is there anything else we need to be worried about? What was that? A dragon. <laughs> All right, I'm a knight. So me and 77% didn't forge Marjorie's letter, uh, refused to kiss, 71% refused to kiss Lord Wild Hill's ring. Wow, well, it was pretty 50-50 on winning the betrothal. Betrothal. Wow, okay. Uh, 96% stood up for Cotter. Okay. And 93% killed Mira's attacker. I mean, most of those choices uh, were pretty obvious, <laughs> except for the betrothal. Wow, people really fucked that up, I guess, or didn't want to get married <laughs> to chicky chick. Right, okay, well, but otherwise, I was... I was pretty much on the side of uh, all the peeps. So, uh, hmm, interesting. From eyes, from eyes, we forced 
sisters born to I sweet yeah, okay, that song could have been better. No, I don't want Game of Thrones experience, please. Get out of here. Get out of here. But on uh, next time on Game of Thrones, we will do episode 3, Dracarys. And uh Mr. Drogon fucking dragon names. Dracarys, Daenerys Targaryen, uh huh. So fancy. Where are the sex scenes in this game? Come on, man. It's HBO. So lame. So lame. <laughs> but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And uh, tune into the next.